Welcome to complementary and alternative medicine focusing on herbal therapies or herbal medications. In this video, we will discuss some herbal medications or supplements, its uses as well as interactions. Aloe vera is a very common herbal remedy used. The uses of aloe vera are, it has anti-inflammatory analgesic properties, it's used for wound healing related to burns. It is also used for some skin disorders like rashes and itching. Because aloe vera can decrease potassium levels in the blood, this can interact with digoxin, diuretics, and corticosteroids, thereby increasing the chance of having side effects of these medications. Aloe vera can interact with antidiseretmics and decrease its effectiveness. Astragalus. Astragalus is used to increase immune function, to treat hepatitis, side effects of chemotherapy. It limits cold and flu symptoms. It may also decrease blood sugar in diabetic patients. Astragalus can interact with immunosuppressants like cyclosporin and cyclophosphamide. If taken with lithium, it can increase lithium levels and may cause lithium toxicity. Cohosh. Black cohosh is used to treat manifestation of menopause as it acts as estrogen substitute. Black cohosh interacts with drugs containing estrogens and increases its effect. It increases the chance of hypoglycemia in patients taking anti-diabetic medications. It also increases the effect of antihypertensive medications. Chamomile is used for stomach and intestinal ailments, sleeplessness, anxiety, skin irritations, and oral sores, even used for ulcerative stomatitis related to chemotherapy. Chamomile can increase the chance of bleeding with NSAIDs, anticoagulants, and antiplatelets. Cinnamon Cinnamon is used for bronchitis, diabetes, GI issues, and anorexia. Cinnamon can increase the effect of anti-diabetic medications and can cause hypoglycemia. It can also interact with hepatotoxic drugs. Echinacea is used to stimulate immune function and therefore is effective against cold and flu symptoms. It is also used for skin disorders, wound healing, and also healing of burns. It also decreases inflammation. Echinacea can increase caffeine levels if taken with caffeinated beverages. It decreases the effect of immunosuppressants, anti-tuberculosis medications, and HIV medications. Feverfew. Feverfew has antiplatelet properties and it also used for migraine headaches. Interactions These medications can interact with NSAIDs and anticoagulants and increase the chance of bleeding. Garlic Garlic can lower cholesterol levels and also decrease hypertension. It can also disrupt the coagulation process. Interaction Garlic interacts with warfarin and antiplatelets, thereby increasing the chance of bleeding. Garlic is also known to decrease the effect of HIV medication like Saquinavir, anti-tuberculosis medications like isoniazid and cyclosporin. Ginger is used for nausea, morning sickness, vertigo, motion sickness, diarrhea, joint pain, and stiffness because it decreases the inflammation of the joints, but it can also slow down the clotting process. It can interact with anticoagulants and NSAID and increase chance of bleeding. It can also cause hypoglycemic effect if taken with anti-diabetic medication. Ginkgo is used for bronchitis, bronchospasm, fatigue, dementia, tinnitus, occlusive arterial disorders and it can also decrease platelet aggregation. Interaction Jingo can increase bleeding tendencies if taken with anticoagulants and NSAIDs. This herbal supplement can lower the seizure threshold 
when taken with antipsychotics, antihistamines or antidepressant. All these herbal medications mentioned in this video can interact with certain prescription drugs. Therefore, as a healthcare professional, it is very important to know these herbal supplements.